Hi there, Psycho Enthusiasts, and welcome to the next episode of Friday Psycho Best Practices. My name is Vasily Fomachev, and I'm a Psycho Technology MVP. In this episode, I'd like to talk to you about data definition standard values. Standard values allow us to assign default settings for things like presentation layer details, workflows, insert values, default field values, um, other things like data sources, validation, bucketing settings, even appearance, allowing us to change the way items created from the template appear in the content tree. Now, there are many other things you can set on standard values. Mm -hmm. However, in this video, I'd like to only focus on the first four. I feel like those are most important ones, and if implemented correctly, they can dramatically increase the usability of Psycho content editing tools. And those four are workflows, insert values, default field values, and default presentation layer settings. So let's see it at how we can do that. So if we log into Sitecore and go to the Content Editor, navigate to the Templates section. What I have here is a clean Sitecore 8.1 instance. We have a sample item template that gets created by default on a clean Sitecore install. Now if we expand that template, we'll notice that the standard values is a direct child of the template. However, what's important to remember is that standard values do not get created by default. That's something that we have to do manually. And it is a bit tricky. And I'm really hoping that Psycho is going to change that in future Psycho releases. It's been this way for years, but hopefully, you know, enough people would ask Psycho and submit requests to change this functionality. And now here's why. So to create the standard values, what we need to do is click on the template. Make sure that we're on the Builder tab, because if you're on any other tab, it won't work. So make sure you're on the Builder tab first. Then on the right, you'll notice there's an Options tab. So click on that tab. And on that ribbon, click on the Standard Values button under the Template chunk. And that's when the Standard Values item would get created. Now the reason I said that you have to make sure that you're on the Builder tab is because if you click on any other tab, notice how the Options uh, bar goes away and that's why it's a bit tricky so anyways so once the standard values is created to define the default uh, field value all we have to do is simply type that into the field as you can see in this case we're using uh, the name token as the default field value for all the items created from the sample item and what that means is whenever an item gets created from this template the title field would get populated with an item name to set the presentation layer default settings, what we'd have to do is again make sure that we're on the standard values, go to the presentation tab, and then go to details. And just like with any content item, we'd simply specify the presentation layer uh, details directly um, in the shared layout or the final layout depending on our project and use case. Now workflows are also configured on standard values, again, and to set that up we first need to make sure that we have standard fields enabled. And then again, using our uh, handy shortcut bookmark here, we jump directly to the workflow section. And as you can see here, we have the default workflow configured to use the sample workflow. Again, something that comes with Sitecore by default. Now lastly, uh, insert options um, allow us to configure insert values, the default insert set settings. And we can do that by clicking the standard values, going to the configure tab, and clicking on the assign button. Now what the insert values are um, is the setting that allows us to define the default types of items that are allowed to be created as children of the item created from this template. As you can see here on the standard values we have two templates defined as uh, val uh, valid options. So we have sample item and folder. So what that means is if we go to the content section of the site or tree and right click on the home item as if we were to create the new item, go to insert. As you can see we have those two options created in the insert menu. Now this is very important to configure this setting because content authors don't have this third option insert from template. Only Sitecore administrators have access to that. So if we don't configure insert values correctly, Sitecore content editors won't get that setting under the insert menu or under the insert a chunk of the home tab. So wait a minute you say I can specify the presentation layer directly on the home item. 
I can also modify the workflow setting directly on the home item. And we can also specify the insert values directly on the home item. For instance, if we click on the home item and go to configure, we can simply add another insert option to it. And there we go, it's in the list. So what is the advantage of setting that up on the standard values versus doing it directly on the item you see? Well, standard values, again, is the place where we define default settings for all of the items created from that template. So if, let's say in a use case where we'd like to add a setting or modify a setting that, uh, that should affect all of the items, if we have standard values, we can simply change that directly on the standard values and if the inheritance is kept intact that will affect all the templates created from that or all the items created from that template. So that's benefit number one and that goes for default field values, presentation layer, insert um, settings and workflows again. Now benefit number two is let's say if we made a change to a field content let's say let's go ahead and click on the home item Let's say we make some changes to the text field. However, we added some content that shouldn't have been there. Now, if we didn't have the standard values enabled and, and versioning enabled, what we'd have to do is revert that change manually. Right? Well, with standard values, what we can do is we can actually reset the field value back to its default setting. And the way we can do that is by navigating, let me see if I can remember off the top of my head, I bet it's versions, and it is. So by clicking on the home item and navigating to the versions tab and clicking reset button, a pop-up would come up comparing the values on the home item with the default values on the standard values item. As you can see, there's a, a, a text field that's different. We have an empty default value and we've added some bad content that we'd like to revert back. And for that, all we'd have to do is simply check that field, hit reset, and as you can see, it gets reset back to the default setting. Now, perhaps the most, uh, my favorite, and the, the most used function of standard values is reverting the presentation back to its original settings. And we can do that by navigating again, clicking on the item that we'd like to revert the presentation layer uh, for, clicking on that item, going to the presentation tab, and clicking the reset button. So if we moved some renderings around, modified some data sources, added some new ones, we go to preview and it doesn't look like uh, what we wanted it to look and we'd just like to just start over from scratch, setting the default presentation layer allows us to revert back to it using this reset functionality. And with SiteCreate, now we have layout versioning supported and that's why we're getting some extra options here. In previous SiteCore versions, you won't get this. It'll simply prompt you if, you, if you're if you sure you'd like to reset that. So in SiteCreate and up, you would uh, choose the appropriate option here and hit OK and it would reset to that version um, of the layout settings, presentation layer details. Now there are some use cases when it makes sense to make the changes directly to the item instead of going to the standard values. For instance, if we want to make a change to a very small subset of all of the items created from that template, it makes sense to go directly to those items uh, instead of using the standard values because if we were to make that change on standard values, it would affect all of the items created from that template. So hopefully you see the benefit of using standard values and how properly implementing the workflows, default field values, presentation layer details, especially insert options, can help dramatically improve the usability of Cypher content editing tools. And if you like this video, please comment below, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, for more tips like this, check out cmsbestpractices.com. And again, my name is Vasily Fomichev, and I'm a Sitecore Technology MVP. And I'll see you next Friday. Over and out.